Hello and welcome to today's video. Well, would you look at that, you're back again for another exciting video about crystals, surfing, or gardening in today's instance. So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at whether gardening can actually improve your mental and physical health. So we're gonna have a look at nature's original antidepressant. Additionally, I'll be suggesting a couple of my favorite plants that I found have boosted my mood. Let's continue with the script, shall we? As mentioned before, plants have a lot of benefits for the human body, both psychological and physical. And there are a lot of studies around there that are trying to empirically calculate the benefits of gardening. And the results from these empirical studies has contributed to the development of horticulture therapy. Wow, the sun is out today. I can't keep saying horticultural therapy because as you can see, it is a lot of wording, so I'll just abbreviate it to HT. Research like this has been documented since the 19th century and has proven the realities of gardening on your well-being. Some of the benefits of HT on human well-being include a sense of accomplishment, social skill development, provides meaningful outdoor activities and more. Let's take a deeper look at this. I'm going to break down the physical and psychological benefits of gardening. At a basic level, gardening is a form of exercise and uses most major muscle groups. After consistent sessions of raking, digging, weeding and carrying pots around, your muscles will begin to strengthen over time. As gardening is an outdoor activity the majority of time, you'll be exposed to the sun, which means you'll be boosting your vitamin D levels. Vitamin D supports your body's ability to absorb calcium, which develops your muscles and skeleton. Vitamin D can also reduce the risk of psoriasis flare-ups, cancer and immune disorders. Over time, gardening will help you improve your motor and coordination skills. Gardening is both a gentle and rigorous activity that demands your body adjust accordingly. As a result, muscles that are typically left unused will start to develop their agility. For example, the art of carefully planting a little seedling. This requires the fingers to be strong enough to part and remove the seedling from the soil, whilst also being gentle enough not to damage the roots. Let's check out some of the psychological benefits of gardening. When you're gardening, you're gardening towards a goal, and you reap the success through something beautiful. Not only that, but gardening is a belief in tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day. You're believing in a future which is extremely important for your cognitive well-being. These are all pivotal feelings in the development of healthy cognition and quality of life. There have been scientific studies which report better mental health as a result of gardening and improvement of confidence. Gardens are considerably relaxing environments which gives the individual chance to clear their minds and de-stress. Gardening has also been proven to increase concentration levels and your ability to focus. It's hard to accomplish much whilst gardening when you're not thinking about exactly what you're doing. Therefore, your mind doesn't have a chance to wander. As a result, your brain prioritizes what the body is doing. It tries to ignore incoming stimuli and thoughts. This therefore helps your concentration levels and your ability to engage. Now let's start with the most obvious, the cactus. That's a big boy. Now, the reason why I chose a cactus is because they're fantastic little plants that are pretty much indestructible. They require very little attention and are very durable, which makes it an instant top pick. They're perfect for inside the house and can fit nicely on your work desk. Another great house plant would be the dragon tree. This plant is elegant, strong, and has a great rooting system, which means it's also very durable. Its durability means that it is low maintenance and can survive on irregular watering, much like the cactus. The dragon tree is a great entry level plant for new gardeners and is nearly indestructible. Unless your cat gets at it and then, yeah, don't let your cat get at it. Okay, the final one and it is possibly my favorite plant out there is lamb's ear. Lamb's ear is a evergreen perennial with thick and soft oblong shaped leaves. The entire plant is densely coated with white woolly fur, which also features small purple or pink flowers which occasionally appear striped. 
Now, lamb's ear is best suited in gravel gardens or on the borders of flower beds, which means it's pretty versatile wherever you put it. Like the other plants suggested on the list, lamb's ear is low maintenance and very easy to care for. It also looks extremely adorable and, if I'm quite honest, it is so fluffy, it will just brighten your day. The best thing about gardening is that it is completely natural and provided by nature. By engaging with the environment, you go back to your roots. Simply spending more time outside has been found to uplift your spirits and your mood. So whether you're planting a new garden or going for a walk, being outside is contributing to your overall well-being and having considerably positive effects.